Shubham is saying, currently going through your Kebellian series and I am amazed how much it resonates with our Indian philosophies like Advait, Sankhya and other non-dualistic philosophy. Yes, I was also amazed because it's word to word and uh, it is even more clear sometimes. You don't need to decipher the English. Probably people have, not English, I mean Sanskrit. People have already done it in English very nicely. So I had no trouble understanding what they are saying. And the reason that they are so similar is that when these philosophies were at their peak, the world was one. What do they teach you? That you know, in this corner there was this civilization, that corner there, there was that civilization, no connection between them, they did not know each other, the only way they know each other was fighting each other in wars and so on. And that's all the historians know. But uh, the reality is, you know, or you can say better opinion is that the world was one, very much in communication with each other, all the countries, especially the scientists, philosophers, mathematicians, they were in contact with each other. And you know there can be two kinds of contacts. One is physical, one is non-physical. So because of their advanced um, abilities, they were all in contact. And uh, even the physical contact was there. There were tourist trips and pilgrimages and so on. So whatever was Egyptian became the Indian, whatever was the Indian became the Egyptian, then uh, Persian, then European, same thing everywhere. Same knowledge spreads everywhere. And unlike other people who believe that no, no, it's not possible, they were too primitive. Actually, we are primitive compared to them. They were more intelligent. They knew everything. <laughs> they knew all, all ways to spread the knowledge and so on. You don't need too much time. The problem is it is all destroyed now. So the real history is gone. So I am not amazed that you know in some corner of the world we find something similar to Indian philosophy. And the thing is we automatically assume that the source is India. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Probably it is. But it was in every part of the world. It was preserved in India. Yes. Because no wars, not many wars, there were wars, I mean, these idiots are everywhere who like wars, but uh, not much, at least the spiritual treasures were not touched by the kings, they had that much intelligence, then they left the yogis and sadhus and the spiritual people and the religious people were left, but in other countries they were wiped out completely, the libraries were burned down and the books were burned down and people were murdered who taught anything that is not written in their book. They were brutally murdered and their temples were destroyed and churches were made on top of them and so on, you see. So it was fortunately preserved in places like India, China and other, uh, Nepal and uh, Burma and so on. So rest all destroyed. So uh, it is difficult to call the Advait as Indian philosophy after this or the Sangha as Indian philosophy because they are highly influenced by European, Egyptian and Persian philosophies. We always assume that the influence is from India to others, but no, they, inf they influenced each other. So I remember in Kabbalion or <laughs> all the you know, ancient writings, they mock these Brahmins who said, I am Brahma. They actually make jokes of them. You are not Brahma, they said. You are not it. You will never understand what it is. So, you know, there, there was exchange between these people, they debated and they taught each other it's something similar to present day. So our world, our view of the ancient world is totally wrong. That's what I'm trying to say. So whatever we call as Indian is not really Indian really, it's not. The origin of Vedic literature is Iran, most probably, Sumeria and all those places. Not this, uh, the today's India. Yes, that the whole thing was called India for some reason, but now we are divided into different countries. Shubham is saying, yes, even in Kabbalion book, they say Indians are inspired from magician. <laughs> yes, everybody is selling their own brand. The thing is, the truth is universal and everybody is inspired from the same truth. Their interpretations are different. So they were joking about Indians, you know, they think they are this and they are that. And Similarly, the Indians must be probably joking about them. 
and lelai is saying what are your thoughts on this war seems like the world is shifting since 2019 so which war is there war <laughs> you say don't come to know anything this is just dense jungle here i've never seen a war war in europe world war 3 yes okay okay it's all okay that that are my thoughts this is what goes on in whole world actually especially in europe they are kind of addicted to wars check your history it's all wars only is there anything good happening in the history no the good part is removed from the history actually only the wars are taught to students so what do they do wars only so i see perfectly normal human life graham is saying i am going under anesthesia tomorrow for simple routine hernia repair is there an experiment i could do is it possible to stay aware no 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 just let the treatment happen come home and take rest remember that you are probably missing the point of the experiments they are to be done with a very healthy body with a healthy mind not under the influence of drugs and disease if you do it like this you will only be harmed you will not benefit so it is very good that you ask me never do these experiments when the body is damaged the mind is damaged or when there are drugs and medicines in your body it is very harmful you should be very very peaceful very very intelligent very very strong and should have a guru behind you should have all the knowledge then only you do a little bit of experiment little bit not much so yes some people completely miss the point i was introduced to spirituality on lsd when you that is not spirituality that is addiction of some kind abuse substance abuse spirituality is knowing your true nature which is right now right here shining in front of you see how stupid that is calling these drug addictions as spirituality very stupid i am totally against it it is not different perspective it is total ignorance gram is saying first time i understand that i was connected to others no that was an illusion produced by the drug it will produce anything that you want to know anything that you are expecting otherwise i would have simply given them the drugs to know the true nature of themselves you know that you are connected to others simply by seeing the falsehood of the individual not by damaging your body with drugs and so on that is more elegant and superior way not by producing a hallucination you are connected to others it is the eternal truth that you are connected to others simply remove your ignorance so i was saying people miss the point yes you are the best example for that missing the point completely knowledge and teachers are not around those who want it they will get it how is lsd around <laughs> how is how is the drug around tell me those who want something they get it people travel thousands thousands of miles just to sit on the beach and drink beer they spend thousands of dollars for that guru no no i want somebody in the next house only then i'll take the teaching this is the problem with the world isn't it those they, who want it they get it i have seen that people are ready to come to me from all around the world they want to visit me and i tell them no there is no need i'll come to you i'll tell you everything on phone online so on there is internet now still no i want to come to you i said save your money <laughs> so on So those who want you know, there is a way when there is will there is way otherwise there are excuses so fortunately these days because of the technology you don't need to go anywhere just google it you will get a guru try some of them and uh, you see most of these people in the western countries are now trained by indian gurus so you don't even need to find somebody outside your country there are non dual teachers teachers of non duality in every part of the world probably except africa and antarctica and such places they are everywhere us europe asia australia they are there and as you know it takes 3 days only 3 hours but no lsd not the guru no i won't even google who is teaching spirituality here so i am not trying to you know accuse graham of anything the whole be- whole 
population is like this everybody is like this where is the fun in sitting with the guru and listening to all this philosophy no fun no? a lot of fun in lsd and drugs lifelong fun what kind of fun for first 10 years you are using the lsd for the next 10 years lsd is using you then the doctors are using you <laughs> whatever hard earned income you have goes in the pockets of doctors so is a lot of fun and what do you get i and finally understand that i was connected to others after 30 years and with a dead body how much time it takes on the path of knowledge to understand that i am one with you 20 minutes no 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 that is not my cup of tea too difficult too intellectual let me waste my whole life first what do you call this we call this maya we call this the influence of maya deception and covering up this is how it works the illusion works by deception covering up yes never too late you see give up all these stupidities whatever you are doing <laughs>